Holy moly, this is huge. This is way bigger than I thought it was. Today I got my feather flag from Advertising Ideas and it's supposed to be 15 foot tall and I'm so excited to get it opened. So here are the parts that came in my order. I got the upper part of the flagpole here, and then I got the medium pole here that goes in the middle, and the larger pole that goes on the bottom. And I also got the flag itself, and a ground stake that you drive that into the ground, and the flag can rest in here. And then also have the um, freestanding flagpoles holder. You fill these with water so that they have some weight, and so you can display your flag on concrete without having to drive a stake through the concrete. At the top of each pole, there are some little divots pushed into here, and that's to help the next pole from sliding down on top, down, on down through it. Now this is the top pole, it comes with a little plastic plug in the top to keep it from tearing up your uh, flag. But when you put these in, they just slide in easily, and they slide down to the little divots and it stops, so that way it's not, you know, sliding all the way down inside. To start with, I'm just gonna put this together and display the flag on this. The two pieces slide together. And of course, if they're filled with water, this will be a lot heavier. I'll go ahead and I'll put the first flagpole into here. And here's the upper part. And there it is. Not too bad to even put together yourself. This is going to be the uh, flag that I show and display when I'm flying my quadcopter around to different events. Look forward to my upcoming videos. So this is the ground spike. And the ground spike is made of a solid piece of metal here. The stake itself is solid. It's been welded on. Looks like it has a good weld on it. The edges are not sharp. That's good. Even down here, the lower part's not sharp. Even better. And it has a hole through it all the way, so if it gets wet or rains, the rain will hopefully just go right through and not sit inside there and rust it out for you. Came with a little rubber tip on here, which I'm having a hard time getting off, but that's okay. It'll come off eventually. When you're designing your flag, you want to make sure that the template looks exactly like you want your flag to look. Because it's going to print off exactly like you have it made. So when you, if you have stuff up near the edge, it's going to be near the edge. Also, if, you, if I hold this up here close to the camera, hopefully you can see how well the uh, print job is on this. And also, also you can kind of see, this is the, it's like a nylon type material, and you can kind of see through it, but it's very nice. And even here, the seams, hold these up so you can see them a little closer. The seams are very good on this. Now the thing you have to make sure of when you build one of these, or you start designing your own flag, is that you're using vector-based designs. That way when they enlarge it, it still maintains its correct shape without getting all pixelated. If you don't know what vectors are, you should not be making your own flag. Or you could have one of your friends make it for you. Down here in the bottom of the flag, it has a little loop. Now you can use this loop to tie a rope into here and then go down and tie it around your base or tie it around the bottom of the uh, ground stake and that will keep your flag from actually wanting to pull up off of here on windy days. Now they said with your flag, there's a lot of things that can make it last longer. Number one, don't leave it in the sun, you know, for long periods of time. Don't leave it up in the rain. You know, any kind of weather is just going to make the lifespan of, the, of your flag shorter. This flag came from Advertising Ideas out of California. When I initially set up the design, I used some JPEGs and put on here for the quadcopter and the Kahuna logo using their tool, which was very easy to use. The only problem they said when I called them and asked about it was they said it's going to look very pixelated because I was using low resolution JPEGs and I needed to use something like the vectors like I talked about earlier so that when they are enlarged they stay the same and they don't get you know pixelated down through across your uh, the edges. So I worked with them a few times and they updated the picture for me the way I wanted it and then I told them some more updates and told them some more updates and told them some things I wanted changed and they were very good, very easy to work with. I'd have zero complaints about them at all. I can't even think of anything bad to even say about them if I wanted to, which is not very often <laughs> that that happens. Overall, I'm very happy with this uh, feather flag from Advertising Ideas. It was a steal of a deal, it was just over $100. 
But I plan on taking this and using it when I'm flying to let people know that I'm flying. And also I'll take it and fly with my friends when they're flying and we can use it as some kind of marker or some kind of thing, obstacle to fly around when we're doing uh, quadcopter races. If I was gonna say anything downside about this is that these poles are huge. You know, they're, they're about four foot, five foot tall, the, the lower one and the upper one. Now, the, it's gonna make it a little bit difficult to store this somewhere, so I'll have to come up with some kind of idea. Maybe have my wife make me a bag for it or something uh, to make it easier to transport and store. I'm really excited about using this flag in my upcoming videos. I think it'll be a fun thing to have out the flying field. If you have any questions about the flag or about advertising ideas or my experience with them or anything, let me know in the comments and I'll try to help you as best I can. And thanks for watching.